When I was 19, I received one of the most important pieces of advice in my life. At that time, I was at Dian Gongren, uh, making money, getting ready for university. It's a long story. Well, one day I was just standing around. My boss came up and said, look, Greg, do something. Even if it's wrong, do something. Well, I wasn't quite sure what he meant. So later on in the day, I asked and he said, look, Greg, he said, it, you don't learn anything by just standing around. You learn by doing. Don't worry about making mistakes. Worry about not learning. So always just do something because that's how you learn. And that, that kind of changed my life. In my career, I've done many things that I really didn't know what to do or how to do, but that I didn't really worry about it because I figured, well, if I make mistakes, I'll learn and then I won't make that mistake again. And that it was true and that some of the mistakes I made were stupid, some of them were expensive, some of them were painful, but I learned from them all and that I never would have been able to do what I've done in my life if I didn't have that attitude. Do something, even if it's wrong. Do something. Well, this is a very Western attitude. It's not a Chinese attitude. I can't imagine Chinese bosses saying, hey, look, go ahead and do something. Even if it's wrong, do something. In Chinese culture, the focus isn't on learning. The focus is on doing the right thing. Thing. And how Chinese achieve this is parents and teachers, um, they punish every mistake a person makes with the idea that eventually they won't be making any mistakes, therefore they're doing the right thing. Well, maybe, but that there comes a, a huge cost. The cost is that the Chinese become very afraid of making mistakes, very afraid of trying something new. It ends up with that famous Chinese phrase, uh, 多说多错, 少说少错, 没说没错. The more I say, the more mistakes I can make. The less I say, less mistakes I can make. If I don't say anything, I won't make mistakes. They also use it for um, to do things. 多做多错. The more I do, the more mistakes. The less I do, the less mistakes. If I don't do anything, I won't make mistakes. Well, this is quite a natural reaction to being punished for every mistake you make, but it's totally different than Western culture. This drives Westerners crazy because in the West, it's all about learning, not about doing the right thing. Of course, we want people to do the right thing, but we also want them to learn. I teach Chinese that the first mistake is always free. What does that mean? Well, it means that if you make a mistake because you didn't know the right thing to do, the mistake isn't your fault. And that as a boss, I might go, well, I should have taught him how to do that before he went ahead and did it. So the mistake is my fault. But now I know what the employee needs to learn. And so now I can invest a little bit of time teaching that employee and they won't make that same mistake again. And in the West, that's when you get punished by making the same mistake again after you've been taught how not to make the mistake. And so never worry about making a mistake. Worry about not learning from the mistake and making the same mistake twice. In the West, there's something called initiative. It's very important. It's what bosses tend to look for when they're trying to decide who to promote into a management position. And what initiative means is it means go ahead and do something without first being told to do it and without asking permission to do it. Now, this really doesn't exist in Chinese culture, so it's very difficult to translate. Now, I'm very cautious about explaining this to you right now because when I do this in class, often what the Chinese hear is they hear, oh, well, that means I can do whatever I want to do. And that is not what initiative means. And you cannot do always what you want 
to do. There's a time when you can do what you want to do, but there's a time when you cannot do what you want to do. And so I will be explaining initiative in detail in the course. I'm not doing it right now because I don't want to confuse you. But just I want you to understand here that the Western idea about mistakes, about learning, about you deciding what needs to be done um, is very different than Western culture. Your teachers, for example, will expect you to show a little initiative for you to go, oh, well, that's what needs to be done. And now you go ahead and do it. And am I worried that you're going to show now Chinese initiative is the way I call it? It. Yeah, I am worried about that. I just want to explain, introduce it here to you as a, as, as a way of showing another uh, difference between how Westerners look at mistakes and Chinese look at mistakes. One of the things I'm hoping you're going to get from this course is that your whole idea about learning and about making mistakes changes. There's nothing really wrong with the Chinese way as long as what you want to do is exactly what your boss wants you to do and you're willing to wait around to be told what to do. Um, same old, same old, let's call it. But if you want to change, if you want to grow, if you want to do new things, if you want to achieve something, you have to be willing to try new things. And that means you have to accept making mistakes. So that's about it for here. Let's move on.